torture at, at um, you know, uh, as this kind of the, the common thread, the, the daily, uh, you know, um, uh, conversation uh, that takes place throughout these experiments. It's all about torture. People really need to understand that these programs are about driving people to suicide, to the brink of death, and then maybe pulling it back just a little bit, but keeping them on the razor's edge between life and suicide ideation. And they're claiming, well, we need it because the brain, uh, you know, explodes with action when it's, it's traumatized. You know, the, the neurons light up like a Christmas tree when we see that. No, no, no. You know, they, the programs that, that they're, you know, the, the experiments they're performing on me and the torture te techniques they're using, they repeat all the time. And now they're developing new ones that are neuroweapon specific. So these are thought injections and thought mirroring and, and thought reflection, which is unbearable. You can't think about something else when, when this is happening. These are things that are being injected, you know, right into your brain and you can't go anywhere else. So we have the traditional CIA torture techniques and then we have these neuroweapon specific torture techniques that are, that are now being developed. So... Uh, this is a, a, a yes. graduation in the torture program that unlike, you know, uh, that, that nobody would ever believe is happening unless you were victimized by it. It sounds like it's an intensifying and an escalation of torture techniques above and beyond what's in the Kubrick manual, what's in the HRETM manual, what's in the, you know, the KGB techniques that you showed me and um, has uh, so brilliantly developed and uses, and uh, which Mitchell and Jessen used as well in Guantanamo. So, um, and you're talking about a new set of torture techniques that not merely builds on these horrific sets of tortures, but, you know, takes everything to a higher level and a newer level. And, you know, you do describe that so closely in the interview, um, Chris, so I do encourage everyone to wait for the interview because it, it's very closely described. And uh, sort of in gist, I could possibly say that what it really is, is when um, these kinds of tortures are literally military-induced voices that start chanting and start replaying and start engaging in conversations each time you take a breath or each time you try to think of a thought of your own that has anything to do with um, anything outside this realm of what they are struggling to put you push you into. Because they're trying to sort of keep your thinking within a certain space, right? Yeah, they, they, this is, um, you know, uh, for the first 10 years of my torture, it was voice to skull voices. Uh, and they used different psychological torture techniques uh, throughout that period to create fear, and anxiety, and all of those things. Over the last three years, they've been torturing me with electromagnetic specific torture techniques. This is different. This is still, of course, applying this notion that you're going to be killed through torture, you're not going to make it through all of these things. That still exists. But these are weapons, these, these, these weapons are uh, transmitting uh, uh, information, uh, neuro that, that affects whether it's stronger than the 0.5 milliwatts that, 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 your, uh, that your neurons fire at, the electricity that's used to, to fire a neuron, or it's just the frequency oscillation uh, you know, that, that they're controlling. Um, uh, it is more powerful than, than you, than, 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 the, uh, than the charge, uh, than the electromagnetic field that, 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 that the human body creates naturally. It's a more ch powerful charge. It's like, uh, it's like being hit with a taser. When you're hit with a taser, you're not doing anything else. You are frozen. That's the way it is with your brain. They, when they transmit these frequencies into you, and they can represent thoughts, they can represent images, they can represent uh, body movements. Um, they're stronger than your natural, than the, than, than the charges, than the, 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 um, the, the intensity that your, your natural electromagnetic magnetic field creates. Uh, and so, you know, I'm not a PhD, I'm not a scientist, so I, it's hard for me to describe it, but I can describe very well the feeling. It, these are not thoughts that you can just um, ignore. Uh, 
Uh, people say to me, well, why don't you just not respond back to the tortures? Well, I'll tell you why, because they're in teams of four or more people attached to one person and they are, are, are tied into every single thing you're thinking on a second by second basis. So it's one thing to try not to think about something for, you know, a uh, half an hour or an hour. I mean, try that sometime. It's very difficult to do, but some people can, can do it to a degree. But we're talking about hour after hour after hour. And what they've developed with these torture techniques are ways to elicit thoughts from you. So you mentioned the breathing torture. That's a torture they do where every time you exhale, they'll uh, emit, uh, they'll, they'll, they'll send us a, a, a command through you or, or just a, a statement like uh, pain and torture, Chris. That's something they use all the time. Pain and torture, pain and torture. Well, it's one thing to, to deal with that for, you know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, which is difficult, but to deal with it for half an hour, an hour, eventually you are worn down and, and, and your mind automatically starts uh, reflexively putting out thoughts. Why are you doing this? Why, you know, can't you stop? Why are you such bastards? You know, whatever the thing is, that whatever thought is elicited. And then as soon as that thought's elicited, they will reflect it. Go to hell, Chris. You know, uh, uh, you know that's why we're doing it. We're torturers, Chris. We're professional torturers. That's what torture is, Chris. It's pain and suffering. So you can get into these, uh, these, these, um, these circular, you know, uh, kinds of situations um, where uh, you know they're eliciting thoughts. You respond. They elicit back, and pretty soon uh, that that becomes the torture. This back and forth that goes on for you know hours at times and and it never it never stops you can stop you know you can you can quit kind of playing the game which is not a game but you can try to hold your thoughts but they will continue doing things to elicit more thoughts from you that's a huge part of these electromagnetic specific tortures is eliciting more thoughts from you and pre and, and the other day they did something to me that was just horrendous they were torturing me so hard with these thought injections and eliciting thoughts that, you know, and when you think about eliciting a thought, all you have to do is imagine just the very beginning of a thought or a memory, and they can recall that uh, and, and identify it and then ref, uh, send it back to you in a different person's voice. Chris is thinking about his friend uh, Karen or uh, his friend David from high school. Chris is thinking about, you know, baseball and, and playing at, at, at Chatfield, you know, high school. And, and all I did was just, just, you know, for a millisecond kind of, you know, glimpse, just glimpse that thought. And they've already fed it in to their system. They already know what it is because I think everything's offloaded to a, to a, a database and you do a lot of thinking through that database. But you end up just becoming this kind of vessel for them playing these thought elicit, elicitation, you know, games. And at one point I sat there and I couldn't control a single thing I was thinking about. It was just my brain was spurting thoughts all over the place. It was as if it, it felt as if I was going mad, but it's all computer oh, no. control. And, and that's just the torture. That's just one simple torture technique they use, you know?